Poetry in architecture is a written form of the visual, the superposition of volumes, shapes, uh, shadows, and so on with emotions. So by creating a different senses coming into action, like for example, the, the sounds of water, the movement of the fire, as well as the shadows of trees into walls and so on, is what create the poetry. The absence of too many objects. That is what allow us to be able to interpret what we wish to interpret from a building. And, and we reckon that that is very important. That happened in all the buildings that we design. The sanctuary will always be something related to nature. That is why we are embracing the use of natural elements as much as possible. In this clubhouse, we are using silver travertine, which have a, a very interesting qualities in the lines, in the formations. We have used natural wood partitions uh, as a very strong contrast in between wood and stone. Every branch of a French Japani tree, you can interpret it as a sculpture in a way. Positioning the tree in the right place, which can cast a shadow into walls, like looking at an abstract painting. Opposites always attract. The introduction of water and fire are two very powerful elements. That ability to transform as an object can have a very strong impact. A romance in the landscape is basically interacting with the environment in which we are living. I reckon that Hong Kong is a, a very attractive city. When we observe and analyze Hong Kong, I think it's probably one of the most congested cities in the world. There is always the need to go back to a place which has a very relaxed atmosphere, a sense of privacy in many ways. And I think so the, this clubhouse that we are designing will give the people that sense of privacy. We have a lot of spaces in which people can benefit as a sort of a community. In this project, we really would like to achieve that, to give some sense of emotion, a sense of belong to the people which live in the country. The importance of an architect is to create an environment which allow people to develop the freedom of imagination. The design is not overpower the people. That idea of less gives them more chances to express themselves. I mean, we all know the architecture is a building, but it is much more than that. Architecture has to be filled. It's the only way that we can understand or interpret architecture. A project has to be discovered by the people themselves.